Hello everybody, I hope you're well. Today I want to speak to you about the people who inspire me. I mean, what they have gone through, what has happened to them, touches me to my core. I, every time that I'm down and out, every time I think, oh my God, why is this happening to me? I only have to think of these people. You know, being a, a makeup artist and a hairdresser, when people come to me for help, I, um, the only thing that comes to my mind is, okay, let me train them how to do makeup and hair. And uh, it doesn't always work, you know. Um, it's so difficult for me to talk about this, but I think I need to because it's, it's going to help a lot of people out there who um, will draw so much inspiration from these people. I want to speak about Tamara first. She's an acid burn victim and, um, and so are a couple of other sisters who came to me so that there are about four people that I train for makeup. One is Sharon Mishra. Um, I'm going to share, she's going to share her story with you later on in this video. Um, Sharon was um, a top model of India. She had won the Metropolitan Supermodel. She had gone to Paris and modeled, New York and modeled. She was doing India proud on a different level altogether. And uh, then she had an accidental, uh, the stuff burst and and she was burnt. And uh, hear her story from her because she is one little sweetheart who was beautiful before, but is so much more beautiful for me now. She calls me mama. She calls me Ambu right through her video, but <clears throat> um, I tell you, I draw too much and a lot of inspiration from every time I'm down and out, I think about Sharon. Another person I think about is Tamara. You know, this whole uh, training for makeup, um, it doesn't work for certain people. I mean, it works for them, but strangely, other people don't give them a chance to go on with their chosen career. Sharon has somehow managed to find her own path and, um, and she's okay. She's got a fabulous son and her husband Umang is a pillar of her strength. A pillar of strength to her. Tamara on the other hand, Tamara and the two sisters who came to me, are, three of them are all acid burn victims. Some happen accidentally, but acid burn victims are done with a vindictive, vicious, I, I really don't know what to say. I mean, it's heartbreaking what people can go through, but it's, it's empowering when they, when they share their stories with you. You know, when I heard about Sharon's burn, I, when I was in Calcutta, I called her up and I said, I have to see you. And she was like, no, Ambu, no. So I said, no, I really do need to see you. Because I was just, I just had to, had to see her. And then I convinced her to come to Delhi. And this video, I hope Dr. Shine is listening, wherever you are, Dr. Shine. Dr. Shine operated on my father after his open heart surgery and his wound wasn't getting healed. Dr. Shine grafted skin and healed him, healed the wound. And um, so when I had to think of plastic surgery on a burn victim, Sharon, the only person I could think of was Dr. Shine. And Dr. Shine works at the Apollo in Delhi. And um, I got in touch with him and he says, Ambika, we, uh, you only need to pay for the operation, the, the hiring of the operation theater, and you don't have to pay me anything at all. Now, angels, you meet angels in different forms, you know, Dr. Shine is one of them. So he operated on, on Sharon and she will explain to you. And uh, like her neck was, uh, her chin was touching her neck. 
after the burn her ear lobes she didn't have ear lobes he gave her little ear lobes so she could wear earrings she was so happy released the neck so her beautiful long neck was there and reconstructed her face and um he did a fabulous job thank you dr shine for all your help and the model fraternity the fashion fraternity we reached out noinika chatterjee and i reached out to a whole bunch of girls and everybody pulled in money and we actually saw through with the with all the surgeries and tamara have a little uh, message from tamara she wants to tell you i hope you all enjoying her scrubs and thank you so much for supporting and uh, just giving her a reason you know to to pursue the chosen field that she's in i really i don't want to take up too much of this video because sharon has her story to tell everybody else sends their love to you and uh, i have actually never ever asked you to share a video but uh, this time i am going to do that please share this video let it go out to as many people there are so many people who may want to reach out to sharan there are i mean tamara is fierce fiercely possessive about her identity she does not want to meet anybody she does not but then that's her chosen um way of life sharan wants to spread women empowerment and wants people to reach out to her and and she wants to help anybody who is going through a tough time the way she did please watch sharan message for you hi i'm sharan mishra i want to talk about my life journey and uh, actually i think it is people say it's very inspirational and uh, it is uh, so i thought of sharing with everyone and actually i have from my childhood i have seen very hardship so i have seen like you know many ups and downs in my life so that every day all the ups and downs always make me me, me, me to day what i am i'm a stronger person every day so definitely like you know i want to talk about and share the thing with everyone and uh, i i know like you know lots of people are born with them and maybe some mishaps happen in their life and they are very demotivated and they want to come out of it and uh, they want to hide themselves that's the time like you know um, they decide to you know end their life or something like that so definitely i decided not to do that and actually i was thinking like you know i was very demotivated i was thinking like you know, I will probably not go out with the my seventy percent burn, and I was uh, after burn survival. Like you now, I was two and a half months in the hospital, and uh, six months bedridden. So definitely, like you know, all that period was very difficult time in my life. I was thought, thinking of ending my life, and that the time my boss called me and uh, like you know, tell me, uh, told me like, why don't you come and see us? and i want to see you baby so i was like you know okay no I, i'm not comfortable i'll not go properly and then i told her no i'm go i'm not well i don't want to come i was like you know making excuses she said okay no worry i'm coming you shared my your address i was like you know okay she's coming now i have to go and see her so i took the season going and meeting her and she said like, you know mm, i i've seen her I started crying and it was a blender sprite show which i used to take part every year so definitely that was the time that like, i was thinking oh my god why with me like you know all the colleagues my friends were there for a show and i was there as a born victim to see that and i was feeling very bad that time and i was said like you know i started crying literally and my tears were not stopping i was said like you know don't worry baby whatever happens happens for the best so like you know take us a lesson and walk on in the life so i that the time i decided like you know okay yeah now something better is going to come so that was a magic word she said in my ear and uh, i had to pray seriously and i started working to us and uh, then she called me why don't you come to delhi i know somebody here i uh, he is very good doctor his name is dr sanil 
So he he will operate. He will do couple of surgery because my face was very bad that time. And like you know, when I went through look look at myself in the mirror, I I could not see my face. Like you know, literally it was so bad. So I took decision of going to Delhi, and uh, we went for couple of uh, three four uh, uh, big corrective surgery. And Doctor Sanjeev and Ambu, no, I know everybody was there. And definitely that the time, like you know, my life has changed towards better because uh, my friends in Delhi they were also supported me. Um, they said like you know because I wasn't from job industry, I was in modeling because because from childhood modeling was my passion. Fashion was my passion. So definitely I've got uh, things whatever I wanted very easily, like you know. And uh, what I was thinking, I was going to work it and achieving it. So definitely, like you know, um, that was the only thing I had. So after that, I was thinking, like you know, what next career? To, like you know, because I was I was not sure, like you know, what to do, where to do, where to go. But that time I have decided, okay, probably take I should take once one by one step. So whatever I'm coming my way, I should you know take and do it my best. So I took that decision and I started. Doing my work very seriously, whatever I was getting. So later on, everything was on very much on place. And uh, uh, in meanwhile, my husband was a schizophrenic, so he used to also have some attacks, like you know, sometimes upper face, sometimes lower face. Life was very difficult. So it was, uh, but somewhere motivation was there, so I was working. And I, in meanwhile, I have my son, like you know. So definitely it was a bit for better man. Family was doing pretty well, and I bought a house, to one for my family, mother, father, and another for myself. So definitely it's a maybe very small house, but it's a achievement for me in my life. And I I have got so many support from people around me. So I thought of spreading this support. I thought of spreading the this love because I want to work on. I'm working on the line, like you know where I can. I got a help, so I want to, you know, um, provide this help to people like me and the people who are in need. So I'm working on that line. So probably very soon I will be coming with that, and um, for women empowerment. Um, definitely, like you know, uh, I'll build whatever happened with me. It is miracle, and I'll always thank God um, for Ambu giving in my life and. Uh, Noina in my life because these people are always motivation for me. Thank you. Mm -hmm.